My name is Edgar Arsenault. I'm an artist from Los Angeles. Uh, this exhibition is called Written as Smoke and Fire. My practice uh, varies, but primarily based in drawing, installation, film and video, and sculpture. In a lot of ways it exists as installations. Um, and there's three of them here in this show. A Book and a Medal is inspired by two letters that were sent 50 years apart. One is commonly known as the suicide letter, sent to Dr. King from J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI. And the second is a letter from Dr. King's daughter that says her two brothers are suing her because uh, they want to sell the Nobel Prize in the Bible. So the show is trying to take a, a family drama as a way of exploring the life and the legacy of a family that's sort of, in a lot of ways have become historical giants and talk about the way in which economics has a direct impact on the things that we make and the way in which sentimental values sometimes can, can operate in competition with that. So the Library of Black Lives is both a library as well as a labyrinth. Um, and labyrinths are different than mazes because mazes are designed for you to get lost in, but labyrinths are designed for you to find yourself in the middle. So I was thinking about that in relationship to knowledge and how, again, sometimes getting things wrong, misunderstanding, interpretation um, are all a byproduct of translation and transcription. Until 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 is an installation based on the uh, infamous performance that Ben Vereen did in 1981 in which he performed in blackface in front of Ronald Reagan. It was one of the craziest things I'd ever seen. The thing that I didn't know was that the performance was only aired uh, partially, that what he did that night had two acts, and that the second act was the part that had the critique. So American audiences back home only saw Ben Vereen doing a minstrel show for Ronald Reagan and George Bush and like 25,000 Republicans. Film is something that I've always done. I've been making movies since I was in high school. It's another way to make uh, connections between things. In these particular shows, the use of reflections, shadows, redactions, fogginess, obscurity, um, are the formal elements that lend themselves to lots of different materials and, and approaches. But I, I would say that in general, you know, written in smoke and fire, um, as this large overarching theme is sort of the power of misunderstanding. Part of where the idea for, for that is like literally what happens when you write something in fire, you know, it's bright, it's illumin it, it illuminates, but fire is a, is a process. It doesn't last forever, but sometimes you can get burned, you know, along the way, but it always leaves a mark somehow. And it's deeply transformative either as a matter of destruction or a matter of creation. 